Hello, it's Sarah. And today I wanted to share these little Christmas ornaments that I've been making. I I have not been well. I've actually I was sick for like two weeks. I'm on antibiotics and I'm hoping that's gonna kick its butt. But like um I don't know. I got I was inspired by these little itty bitty teeny tiny books that, that I did. Um and thought well, I could probably make them in a little bit bigger form and make them into ornaments. I have a craft show, too, on the um, 2nd of November, and I always kind of panic at the end. Really, it's just whatever I've made throughout the year, that's what I bring. So if it was stained glass, I brought stained glass. If it was painted stuff, I p brought my painted stuff. And th this is just paper crafts that I'm going to bring this year. And, it, and it's whatever. I mean, I don't really... Uh, plan for it or whatever and it just snuck up on me and I thought well I don't have anything Christmassy so let me make these ornaments so what I did was for these first like four of them I used the graphic 45 um nutcracker suite and I kind of thought about it because of these papers in there there were these book pages and I didn't actually end up making um a little book out of these I I kind of did them like I said very similar to this itty bitty one so let me see what I have here I want to show you so this is just the cut aparts I have the 12 by 12 stack this is the nutcracker I just covered this one with um craft I, I used um I, I think I used chipboard for some of the covers but then I started using um cereal boxes I got lazy after I made a couple so anyway so he's and I put glitter and stickles and all types of stuff I put the year on the back and I did use the um, sticky back canvas. But I did the, the inside the same way as I did the tiny ones. And I just stamped with my um, script stamp. And then I covered the pages with these little um, photo mats. And some, of the, some more of the, like, the little cut aparts from the paper stacks. And did that. Because I thought... People can put their Christmas memories in here and then kind of hang it on the tree. And every year when they're putting the tree up, they can kind of look through and go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. And, you know, or, or just put little notes if they, you know, if anyone came over that, you know, or whatever. Just a little bit about your holiday. And, or not. I mean, I just thought, you know, it's cute. It's just cute to kind of have a little book. So I just put um, an eyelet and have a little twine to hang them. So that's that one. And then I did a couple that have pockets. And so I'll show you that. This is the Nutcracker guy again. I did the same thing except I left, I think I only left four of the pages. No, I, no. Okay, every other page I just put a little tag in with like a journaling um, card, a journaling tag. So that way they could, uh, I'm not going to be able to get that in. I can't see around the tripod. So yeah, so it's the same way. I just stamp the pages the same way with the script on them and put the, the mats. And then on the back, I put the year with stickles. So they're cute. So I did, this one is the same way, um, the Sugar Plum Fairy. And this one was the first one I made and I got a little crazy and I thought it's really not cost efficient. Like I'm not going to be able to sell this for, I mean, I'm going to try $5 and see what happens, but people at the craft show I go to, they don't really want to spend a ton. And so I wanted to keep them cheap. And then I, when I started cutting everything out and making tags and, you know, getting a little fancy, I thought that's kind of putting a lot more time into it than I want to, because I'm not going to be able to you know, get the amount of money that you spend. So um, I kind of stopped doing that. And so this is my last one. I did do um, the pockets again and just the photo mats. I just kept it simple, just photo mats. And I think there's like three or four tags again with just the, um, the lines to do some journaling. So that's basically those four. And then I started getting lazy. Actually, no, I did a couple more of them. No, then, you know how you make those three by three, um, one sheet of paper. There's lots of, um, tutorials out there if you're interested. You make a mini album with one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And it's just, you score it at three, six, and nine, turn it sideways, three, six, and nine again, and you, um, cut up the two end ones and down the middle, and then you fold it, um, 
Hill Valley, Hill Valley, all the way around. And at the end, you come up with a little mini album, a three by three. So then I started doing that because I got lazy and I thought, let me just take a pattern paper and start doing it that way. And I didn't even mat some of them. Some of them I did mat, but I figured, eh, it's the basic idea. It's still a little mini album. They can still put their um, memories in there if they want to. Um, you know, it's an ornament. Did I, ha I don't even have my twine on him. I got to keep him aside so I can put twine through the eyelet. Yeah, I didn't put the uh, twine in there. And then on some of them, I used other paper that I had from, I guess, last Christmas. Or it might have even been before that and um, just really made them kind of simple. I just put some stickers that I had, some Christmas stickers, and um, really kept them simple. Um, that way I feel like um, even if I don't sell them for $5, I'll put them for $2.50 or something. I don't know. So I did a couple of them. They turned out cute like because I had these dimensional stickers. I think these are um, K & Company stickers. And I put stickles on some areas. Um, this is just really plain paper, um, 2013. And then inside it just has, it's the one sheet of paper. Um, I did distress everything. And this one I didn't even put the sticky back canvas on. But then I started, like these two I didn't. But then I started putting the sticky back canvas on. So this one turned out pretty cute. This is like a little bird house and... Um, I put a package there and an apple and some stars, some ribbon, and sticky back canvas. So, I mean, I, did, I was playing around. I mean, I was having fun just doing whatever I wanted. And it's just plain inside, but that's kind of cute. Um, this is more of the sugar plum fairy paper, but I, um, or whatever it's called, not, not cracker paper. He, he's a little mouse. But this is just the um, one piece of paper folded. Um, to make a little mini book. And actually I saw another um, tutorial for a mini book, a one sheet of paper mini book that you can do in like a four by three, I think it was, it was four by, yeah, four by three. And it was like longer and you can make pockets in them and stuff. So I wanna, I'm gonna play with these a little more, not for my show necessarily. I think I'm just gonna be done with my, for my show, I'm just gonna be done. So I made this little snowman and I put a little bit of stickles down here. And then this is that, um, the enamel accents for the snow. I, I think I do have snow tech somewhere, but I just didn't feel like getting it. <laughs> so I put stickles in the snow and put little snow snowflakes all around the snowman. Put the year. And again, it's, it's just, um, the pages are all just plain. So, but I thought they were cute for little ornaments. Something different, you know. Then this is, again, um, I crackled the snowman with, um, this is the actually the, the Ink Essentials crackle. It's pretty good, too, this crackle. This, I actually just squirted that on, and look, that cracked really good. So, I like that. This is just like a dimensional um, snowflake, and then I just put stickles all around and some rickrack. Put the year on the back. And then this one's just another, um, Nutcracker Sweet Girl with some rickrack and some busy paper in there. But yeah, I think someone will think they're cool. A um, couple people, you know. So I just wanted to have some cheap stuff because I'm going to sell probably my, um, my mini albums. Like, they sold last year. Everybody likes the... Um, the Kathy Orta style ones, they definitely buy them. This one's just like a little smaller version. I just cut her out of um, one of the sheets of paper. And then this does actually, look at that. I did do one with the, I made one with the little, um, the words inside. I might keep this one. I'll probably keep this one. It's kind of smaller too. I put the year on it. All right, guys. That's what I've been making. Thanks for watching.